deep cuts for Forest Hill schools tonight. We know who's losing their jobs. News Times Brian Hamrick live with our number four story. Brian, what's the latest? Well, the details are official now. The names are now released of the teachers. These are teachers that the parents have come to know, not just numbers. And you listen in on about any conversation between parents, and the topic is the future of Forest Hill schools. In the Forest Hill School District, parents like Jennifer Schlosser. It's very disappointing because um, there's such a ripple effect of these cuts. Candace Janidlo. People don't really understand the difference between just an education and a quality education. Jennifer Egan. You could ask either one of my eight and nine year olds. They wouldn't trade their school no matter what. And Jennifer Donlan. We clearly moved here for the schools. The top topic of discussion, cuts at district schools. Now the official list of cutbacks has been approved and the impact is beginning to settle. There are art teachers and music teachers and physical education teachers and library specialists who do so much with the kids that, and I fear we're gonna lose those things. With good reason, 50 positions are gone. 22 of them are teachers. Voters wary of more taxes and spending did not pass the levy. But that's a battle not likely over yet. I am hopeful for the future. I'm hopeful that when, when residents see that it's going to impact our class size, it's going to impact the quality of the schools, it's, it's going to change everything here, that they may be in the future that they'll vote for it. Now we talked to both Little Miami Schools and Forest Hill School District. Uh, both of them say that they have no plans to try another levy in August, but no one has ruled out another run in November. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, News 5.